Today I'm going to share my view on the Waterman Karen, having used it as a daily writer for the past few years. This has been a fantastic pen to use daily, and it has many strong points, as well as one or two weak points, which I'll discuss later on in this video. To start off with, I'm going to give you a quick comparison between the Waterman Karen and the Waterman Edson. The Edson was Waterman's flagship pen for many years, and unfortunately it's now been discontinued. All of the technologies employed in the Karen were derived from this pen. If you take a look at the two pens lying side by side, you'll notice that there's quite a big difference in girth between the two pens. The Karen is far more slender, and I've found that this makes it extremely comfortable to carry around in your shirt pocket on a daily basis. It almost completely disappears. Not that the Edson is uncomfortable to carry around, however, you do feel its presence far more. Next, I'm going to take a look at the difference in weight between these two pens. The Karen weighs in between. 35 and 36 grams and just take note that this pen is inked at this point so it's not the dry weight of the pen and taking a look at the Edson it weighs in at about 45 between 45 and 46 grams and take note again that this is the dry weight of the Edson so it hasn't been inked at this point so there is roughly between a 10 and 15 gram weight difference between these two pens when taking a look at the Karen's writing performance, I must say that I'm pretty impressed with this pen, as you cannot really expect any more from a pen regardless of price. So would I recommend this pen from a performance point of view? Absolutely. Now on to what I would consider to be some of the pen's shortfalls. This pen does suffer from the tendency of having its section scraped by the cap as continuous placing and removing of the cap causes the section to be scratched. This is a problem that is common to other pens that have the same type of clip-on cap, the Edson included, so if you take a look at the Edson it also tends to get scraped on its section through continued use. Like the Edson, this pen does have a rather elaborate compensator, so its section holds a large amount of ink, almost as much as an entire cartridge, this however does lead to a slight problem in that when this ink reservoir becomes depleted you do tend to get a bit of dry starting when this happens. So what I do with my pen is I force ink from the cartridge converter into the section to alleviate this problem. So what is my overall opinion of this pen after using it as a daily writer for the past few years? I must say that I do enjoy this pen and I really think that it's a great investment as far as a daily writer is concerned and I would strongly recommend that anyone who wants to write with a fountain pen on a daily basis get themselves one of these pens. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it to be informative. Thanks for watching.